In clinical trials, what effects has Jacify, ruxolitinib, been shown to have in patients with intermediate or high-risk myelofibrosis? This video is intended for informational use only and is not designed to replace the medical advice of your healthcare professional. Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Grad, a hematologist-oncologist in private practice in the Chicago area. I treat patients with myelofibrosis, or MF, and other conditions in my practice. Jacify, ruxolitinib, is the first prescription medicine approved by the FDA to treat adults with certain types of myelofibrosis, MF. Jacify is a prescription medicine available as a pill. Many patients with MF may have an enlarged spleen as well as symptoms related to their disease. Spleen-related symptoms may include abdominal pain, pain under the left ribs, or early satiety, meaning that patients feel full soon after starting to eat. An enlarged spleen may also be a sign of progressive disease in MF. Therefore, it's important for your doctor to monitor your symptoms and your spleen size regularly, either by physical exam or imaging studies such as ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI. One of the goals of managing MF may be to reduce the size of the spleen if it is enlarged. In order to better understand how medicines may work and what side effects they may cause, researchers perform clinical trials, sometimes by comparing new treatments with existing treatments. Two clinical trials were conducted with Jacify to evaluate the treatment of patients with certain types of myelofibrosis. In one trial, Jacify was compared with placebo or sugar pill, and in the other, Jacify was compared with other treatments used for MF. In both clinical trials, Jacify was better able to reduce the size of the spleen. That was the main measure or primary endpoint of the study. Jacify, ruxolitinib, can cause low blood counts and may cause your platelet, red blood cell, or white blood cell counts to be lowered. More information about this and other risks is presented later in this video. In one trial, researchers found that Jacify also reduced symptoms better than placebo. Patients may have symptoms directly related to MF, one of the most prominent of which is fatigue. In a separate analysis of the same trial, researchers specifically examined the symptom of fatigue and found that a higher percentage of patients with MF-related fatigue treated with Jacify experienced improvement compared with patients given placebo. You can talk to your healthcare professional to learn more about the clinical trials with Jacify and to better understand the results. If you have intermediate or high-risk MF, talk to your healthcare professional about whether Jacify might be right for you. Important safety information. Jacify can cause serious side effects, including low blood counts. Jacify, ruxolitinib, may cause low platelet, red blood cell, and white blood cell counts. If you develop bleeding, stop taking Jacify and call your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider will do a blood test to check your blood counts before you start Jacify and regularly during your treatment. Your healthcare provider may change your dose of Jacify or stop your treatment based on the results of your blood tests. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you develop or have worsening symptoms such as unusual bleeding, bruising, tiredness, shortness of breath, or a fever. Infection. You may be at risk for developing a serious infection during treatment with Jacify. Tell your healthcare provider if you develop any of the following symptoms of infection. Chills, nausea, vomiting, aches, weakness, fever, painful skin rash, or blisters. Cancer. Some people have had certain types of non-melanoma skin cancers during treatment with Jacify. Your healthcare provider will regularly check your skin during your treatment with Jacify. Tell your healthcare provider if you develop any new or changing skin lesions during treatment with Jacify. Increases in cholesterol. You may have changes in your blood cholesterol levels during treatment with Jacify. Your healthcare provider will do blood tests to check your cholesterol levels about every 8 to 12 weeks after you start taking Jacify and as needed. Increased risk of major cardiovascular events such as heart attack, stroke, or death in people who have cardiovascular risk factors and who are current or past smokers while using another JAK inhibitor to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Get emergency help right away if you have any symptoms of a heart attack or stroke while taking Jacify, including 
discomfort in the center of your chest that lasts for more than a few minutes or that goes away and comes back, severe tightness, pain, pressure or heaviness in your chest, throat, neck or jaw, pain or discomfort in your arms, back, neck, jaw or stomach, shortness of breath with or without chest discomfort, breaking out in a cold sweat, nausea or vomiting, feeling lightheaded, weakness in one part or on one side of your body, slurred speech. Increased risk of blood clots. Blood clots in the veins of your legs, deep vein thrombosis, DVT, or lungs, pulmonary embolism, PE, have happened in people taking another JAK inhibitor for rheumatoid arthritis and may be life-threatening. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you have any signs and symptoms of blood clots during treatment with Jakify, including swelling, pain, or tenderness in one or both legs, sudden unexplained chest or upper back pain, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing. Possible increased risk of new, secondary cancers. People who take another JAK inhibitor for rheumatoid arthritis have an increased risk of new, secondary cancers including lymphoma and other cancers. People who smoke or smoked in the past have an added risk of new cancers. The most common side effects of Jakify include for certain types of myelofibrosis, MF, and polycythemia vera, PV, low platelet or red blood cell counts, bruising, dizziness, headache, and diarrhea. For acute GVHD, low platelet counts, low red or white blood cell counts, infections and swelling. And for chronic GVHD, low red blood cell or platelet counts and infections, including viral infections. These are not all the possible side effects of Jakify. Ask your pharmacist or healthcare provider for more information. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. Before taking Jakify, tell your healthcare provider about all the medications, vitamins, and herbal supplements you are taking and all your medical conditions, including if you have an infection, have or had low white or red blood cell counts, have or had tuberculosis, TB, or have been in close contact with someone who has TB, had shingles, herpes zoster, have or had hepatitis B, have or had liver or kidney problems, are on dialysis, have high cholesterol or triglycerides, had cancer, are a current or past smoker, had a blood clot, heart attack, other heart problems or stroke, or have any other medical condition. Take Jakify exactly as your healthcare provider tells you. Do not change your dose or stop taking Jakify without first talking to your healthcare provider. Women should not take Jakify while pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Do not breastfeed during treatment with Jakify and for two weeks after the final dose. Please see the full prescribing information, which includes a more complete discussion of the risks associated with Jakify. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. You may also report side effects to Insight Medical Information at 1-855-463-3463.